We're Alive, a story of survival. Chapter 4 Rules and Regulations Part 3 of 3 Written by Casey Whelan Okay, well, I'm done here. Do you want me to go write down everything that happened so far? Yeah, it's a good idea. Better yet, go tell everyone to do that and to turn them into me tomorrow. Can you do that? Yes, sir. Uh, call me Sergeant. Or Michael. I'm not an officer. I work for a living. You what? Never mind. Just do what you're gonna do. Got it. For the first time since we got here, I felt hopeful that there was some way to end this. If it started somewhere, then maybe that place had the key to ending it. Having everyone else write their own log became the standard after that. Many people saw it as a positive way of expressing themselves. Others, like Kelly, thought it would be a waste of time. But Lizzie reinforced it, saying it was a great way to deal with high-stress situations. She was the therapist, after all, and they listened to her. After a few days, we had more paper trails than we knew what to do with. Oh, it's really coming down out there. Would you quit oogling over the weather and get back to the testimonials? All right. This one says, We heard the screams coming from next door. Guys, run. 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 We ran out the back as one came into our living room. I had barely enough time to get to the backyard. My husband and two children were still inside. I kept running further so I wouldn't hear their screams. Man, this is some sad shit. Does it say a time and a place? Um. Santa Monica, around 10.30. Angel? I already marked it on the map. This one says Bell at 11. <laughs> we already knew that one. Compton, 10.30-ish. Okay. How's it looking so far? Pretty good. You were right, Michael. There's a pattern. Yeah. So, we know where it all started? Well, hard to say. Could be somewhere in Inglewood. Could be wrong. A lot of these times are guesses. Maybe some of them are wrong. Yeah, I get it. Human error. But look at this. You can see, let's call them ripples, and what time the first attacks were reported. If it started here at, let's say, around 9, and then made it here around 1500, then... Then what? Then within a day, all of California was hit. Regardless of where the other reports were that we saw on the news, the entire country would be covered by now. So if every place is overrun, then why the hell are we doing this? I mean, I could be upstairs moving on Lizzie. I think I'm making some headway. I think she's about to crack. Hey. Our main objective is to learn as much about these things as possible. Maybe someone else saw something that we didn't or haven't yet. Like this one. Listen. I hid in the closet when, when one, one of them ran upstairs. upstairs. I remained as motionless and as quiet as I could trying to hold in my gas. Within seconds, it pounced on the door trying to get me. Oh God. My husband came out of the bathroom and he... He knocked the wind out of it and he began beating it and continued beating it repeatedly in the back of the head until there's nothing left but a bloody stump. <laughs> Sounds like one hell of a badass. Is this guy here? Hold on, there's more. He, he quickly, quickly cleaned himself, cleaned himself off. off and we headed to our car, but... Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. He came out of nowhere. He grabbed...
grabbed him as I shut the door behind me. And he was dead in seconds. He cleaned himself off? Direct blood contact with his skin didn't affect him. But I bet you get it inside you somehow? And that's how you're done. Like a bite or something. Yes, but it doesn't absorb through your skin. At least that gives us some protection. We'll, we'll tell a rally to put the goggles on her list now. Don't you mean my list? Whatever. Man, do we have to write these things too? Mandatory. I've already added to the list of rules. It's for psychological and intelligence reasons. Besides, we don't know a whole hell of a lot about these things. I'd prefer it if we didn't have any more surprises. Michael. What? What is it? Something else in there? No. I'm reading it over again. She was in the closet, not making a sound, and it still found her. Yeah, so? And you said that Riley told you that they came right to the apartment they were hiding in. Of all the places in the building, they knew where they were at. Maybe Tommy was right. Maybe they do have a sixth sense. No, no. No, horseshit. Look, look. That proves nothing. I'll make a note of it, but nothing more than that right now. As for these rumors, don't let them spread. People start getting worked up, panic, and then we have a bigger mess on our hands. Oh, what the hell? You think the weather is affecting the power? I sure hope that's all it is. It's out. Saul, so, get that too. We just lost power to the freezers. Is everything all right? So much for all your planning. What, what, what are we gonna do? Listen, everyone calm down. We're on it. Just go back to your rooms. The weather's just causing some problems. Riley, would you let the other floors know so they don't panic? I'm on it. That's who's coming. How am I supposed to clean these rifles without any light? Michael, about the power. Get inside here. These walls are thin. All right, what is it? Uh, that's it. The power. It's gone. What do you mean it's gone? There's no more. Maybe a transformer blew or the power plant overloaded. Whatever it is, we can't fix it. There's no power coming from the building anymore. Damn it! How long until you get your generator up and running? We got this handled, Bert. Why don't you go light some candles and get the rifles ready? I have a feeling we're gonna need them. Bit touchy, aren't we? I'm just trying to help. A little harsh. The don't generator. You? How long? It's in pieces in the motor pool. Luckily, we got most of the big pieces up through the elevator before it shut down. How long? Maybe half a day. But we need more fuel. We only had a small amount, and if we hook it up to only the fridges, we can we can last two more days at the most. All right, get down there and get it done. We'll get you some fuel. On my way. Let me guess. I'm the one going to get some. You got it. And I won't get to use the Hummer because it uses diesel, just like the generator. So far, you're right on. And it's raining in zombie land. Is there any good part to this mission that I should know about? How about you get to pick your crew? Angel's foot's still not the best, so I recommend he stays. All right, then. How about Lizzie? She's a good shot, and we still have water for now, right? Um, check it. Yep. I guess the pumping station is still running. Whew. For a minute there, I thought we might be seriously fucked. You sure Lizzie's the right choice? You aren't gonna get distracted out there? These people are dependent on you. Look, Sarge, I may talk a big thing about it, but I know what I'm doing. She's a good choice for this mission. Why? Everyone else here is too fresh, or they got shit to do. Here, take a look. There's a fueling depot here. The tankers fill up at this station. There might be one here that is already filled up. You know how to drive one of these? Well, if it's anything like the deuce and a half, yeah, I'm good. Here, take this. You serious about this? A fucking journal? Call it a log or whatever you'd want. Everyone's got to do it. If anything, just take notes of what you see out there. 
This is a new area that we haven't seen before. Ah. <sighs> Alright. Whatever. Well, someone go tell Lizzie I'll meet her in the motor pool. You sure it's wise to send them out? We don't have much of a choice, do we? Yes, hello. <laughs> a few of us are wondering what's going on. There seems to be a lot of commotion going on down here, and... There's a problem with the power, and we're fixing it. Oh, is it the weather? Well, we're not sure. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have things to do. Cut that wire mesh to two feet by two feet. Got it. Someone just told me to come see you? You got it. You've been selected to come with me on this. <laughs> Saul. It is Saul, right? Yeah. What the hell? I'm supposed to be in charge of the water. And it's raining. What other excuses you got? I barely know how to use these rifles. Michael said you hit a meter target from 100 yards off. Good enough for me. I'm not even dressed for this. Then get dressed, Blondie. You know how this whole thing works. Power's out, now we gotta go out there and get something to fix it so things don't get worse back here. Kelly said that it's just the weather. People up there got enough to freak out about. Michael told them what they needed to hear. So it's that bad? Pretty much. If we don't come back with something soon, we won't have anything to eat. Those freezers in Riley's shop will start thawing. And I don't know about you, but those frozen pieces are a hell of a lot better than canned cream of corns or beans. Besides, you get to hang out with me. I could take care of you. Mm, charming. Ugh, I'm not that bad. From what I've seen so far, you're- I uh, hope I'm not interrupting something. Not a thing. Thanks, Bert. These are all oiled up and ready to go. Sweet. I removed the timing pin on your M16. It'll go fully automatic now if you need it to. Not like we have enough ammo to do it anyway. I'll just have to train you up on some weapon that we have more ammo for is all. <laughs> Where should I put my bag? In, in the back here? What? Your bag? You're going to? Well, yeah. Didn't Michael tell you? Oh, thank God. Said something about chaperoning, but whatever you want to do is your business. No, that's all right. There is no business here. I'll be right back. Well, there won't be now. Thanks, Michael. You're welcome. Oh. One more set of eyes out there won't slow you down anymore. Besides, you'll be doing me a favor. I'm all loaded up. You know, my niece drove one of these hybrids. She was one of those code pinkers. You know, save the earth. <laughs> like any of that matters now. We gotta be safe out there in this plastic piece of junk. I've modified it a bit with some steel grating and run flat wheels. There was only so much I could do with such short notice. Well, with old Shirley by my side, I think we'll be okay. <laughs> Me and Shirley, that's all you'll ever need. Ready, I guess. You sure I should go? I mean, you already have two. Really. Yes. Like Michael said, we need every set of... <clears throat> eyes out there that we can get. I can't believe I'm doing this. Just think of all the things you'll be able to kill out there, you know, just cause they- I know they... what they did. All right, all right, go on, head out. What, no send off? Can't have one every time, now can we? Well, Michael, I'd like to say it's been fun. Drive, Saul, drive as fast as you can. <laughs> now you know how I felt about Angel. I sat there looking out onto the falling rain as a small car disappeared into the distance. Every time someone left the tower, it always felt the same. I have expected him not to come back. Huh. Michael! Come here, quick! Open that door. Now! Look, lady, I don't take orders from you. Now go back upstairs. Aunt Kelly, please, wait. Michael, they- Oh, there you are. Michael, 
myself and these other individuals would like to leave your little community. Hold on. Hold on. We've been over this. What's the problem? Maybe we can sort some of this out. When were you going to tell us why the power's out? We just found out ourselves not long ago. So you lied to us. We didn't know fully what the situation was. And you weren't going to tell us, were you? You knew full well what was going on. When I asked you, you lied to my face. Everybody needs to calm down. I didn't want to cause a panic. We're fixing the problem right now. I just sent a group of our best people out to get fuel How for- can we trust that you're telling us the truth now? Go downstairs and smell the fresh burnt rubber, you bitch. I don't care if you think it's the truth or not. Michael, is this the kind of person that should be in charge of this mess? Well, I won't be having it anymore. I'm leaving. Now, hold on. We can work this out. No, no, no. I'm done arguing. Open the door, Angel. Michael, you've proven your point. Trust me. Just open the door. Okay. Fine, Michael. I'll do it. I'll open the door. Right now, in fact. You going to try and stop us using that? Nope. You're free to go. It's unlocked. Go ahead. Are you sure about this? All right. Let's go. I'm not going. You'll do what you're told now. Come on, we're going. I'm staying here. We're leaving. The boy can choose what he wants. I'm not going to let you force him into something. I'm done fighting with you. It'll be better off without you anyway. I hope you have an umbrella. Come on, everyone. Is no one coming with me? (coughs) Fine, I see how it is. No, Angel, go ahead and open it back up. You were just leaving, weren't you? Well, you best be on your way. I'm sure the rain will wash those chunks out of your clothes in no time. I... I changed my mind. On your feet. Michael? You heard me. Get up. I want to stay. Well, it's too late. We don't want you to stay. Leave. Now, get up! Please don't. I don't want to go out there. I'm tired of this, Kelly. I am. I... Michael. I just sent two of my good friends out there to try and help you people, and I'll be damned if you throw it back in their faces. Everyone makes sacrifices here. You're not the only one. You remember that. You pull this shit again and you'll never come back. And that goes for any of you. All right. Kelly, you and your friends should head upstairs. Come on, Aunt Kelly. A little rough on her, don't you think? For a minute there, I was wondering... Yeah, I get it. All right, I do. We're all stressed right now. Yeah, well, everyone's depending on me right now. It's my job to make sure everyone's okay. You're doing everything you can, Michael. No one expects you to work miracles. I should have planned for this. We all knew the power was going to go off. It was just a matter of time. No. No one could have planned for everything. Let it go. Once I get back, it'll be all right. It's so frustrating. Easy, Michael, easy. Just relax. Yeah, well, it's easier said than done. I have some medications upstairs in my shop. No, 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 no drugs, no drugs. I'll be all right. We all sat there in silence. Riley occasionally looking if she was about to say something, but then stopped mid-breath. We sat there looking out of the boarded-up windows as the rain trickled in through the holes. We must have sat there for more than an hour. Angel and Riley never left my side. Finally, Angel broke the silence. How did you know that there was one out there? I didn't. Thought she might get cold feet from the rain. And didn't three people just go to get fuel? No, no, I said two friends. The other one was just Bert. Join us again Monday for the next episode of We're Alive. And now, a word from our sponsors. Starring Jim Gleason, Shane Salk, Nate Gies, Elisa Elliott, Claire Doden, 
J. Oligario, Blair Byhauer, Scott Marvin, Tammy Klein, and Nico Marvin. I'm Michael Swan. We're Alive was created and produced by Shane Salk and K.C. Whalen, Grayson Stone. For a complete list of crew, please visit www.zombiepodcast.com. This has been a Modern Myth production.